today I'm going to be talking about the factors that contribute towards childhood obesity. One of the biggest factors that contribute towards it is genetics itself. So if, if the child is genetically prying for diabetes or insulin resistance or a, a thyroid dysfunction or a liver dysfunction, that can actually contribute to their obesity as they're growing up through the childhood years. But that's not the only contributor, right? There are far more factors in the environment that will really determine genetically if this child is going to actually become obese or not. What are these factors? First, the foods that go into the body. So if someone is uh, eating a lot of seed oils, which is basically your cold pressed groundnut oils and sunflower oil and sesame oil, all of these oils that are often marketed as healthy, these seed oils actually can contribute to insulin resistance and thereby trigger obesity in children. The second is uh, the dependence on convenience foods, right? And this is not often... So what happens is parents are often influenced by really good marketing and advertising. Basically, there's a lot of advertising and marketing that's going into these processed convenience foods, which makes parents believe that these foods are going to give their children better health when in fact these foods do the opposite. Most of these foods are loaded with a lot of anti-nutrients and with a lot of harmful ingredients which in fact trigger childhood obesity. The third reason is peer pressure. So if your child is mostly hanging out with a group of children who let's say are um, eating outside most of the time or who are dependent on foods like pizzas and burgers and you know that's where the conversations are they're discussing most of these uh, outside restaurant foods there's a lot of social pressure on your child to confirm and belong to this group and because of that they might end up consuming these foods now all of us know that these foods are not really healthy these foods also can contribute to your child's uh, obesity in today's times what i've seen is uh, you know, most individuals within a family are also eating on their own, especially kids are like just watching YouTube videos on the phone or on their iPads or sometimes they're watching something on TV itself. So that loss of uh, structure of eating your meals together, uh, serving each other and that itself I think is a big contributor to childhood obesity because it's completely push children out of the awareness of when their stomachs feel full. The fifth cause that I've seen is uh, Parents uh, using food as reward systems, so uh, it's unfortunate, it's not just parents, even grandparents and other relatives do this, right? Let's say a child does really well at school or at sports or something, right? Like you want to reward the child, often chocolates and sweets or a meal outside or pizzas or burgers are what are used as reward mechanisms. And what starts getting ingrained, that's, that's where food psychology gets completely missed even for the child as the child grows into an adult. But even in, in childhood, what happens is if the child really genuinely keeps showing good behavior, they are getting rewarded by food that is going to contribute to their obesity. The last but not the least, uh, there is a huge culture around body positivity, right? So while I am not someone who thinks aesthetics are important, if a child is slowly, slowly becoming obese, it is something that's a clinical issue. Obesity is a clinical dysfunction just the way thyroid or IBS or any other condition would be. Now, if your child is slowly gaining weight, but you don't want to comment on it, you don't want to say anything about it because you want to say curves are beautiful, all bodies are accepted, you are doing your child a big disservice because obesity is your body's way of showing you that something is wrong internally, fix it. So this culture of body positivity, I am not a body shamer, but this culture of body positivity where you're just accepting anything that's happening to the body uh, is actually a huge disservice to your body and your child's body also. So if you see signs of your child's weight going up for no uh, explainable reason, it's time you reach out to a specialist who can help you figure out what's really going on so that your child is set for life in terms of health.